Okay, I'm back after uh, having posted a, an alternative viewpoint yesterday. Uh, I'm back because Ed McGuaro asked some questions about the effect of elasticity. In other words, what would it be like if you did not have elasticity? That's simple to do. For here's the equation we showed yesterday where you added up all the forces on a, a finite element shrunk it to infinitesimal size and develop a differential equation. All I have to do is remove this one term here, the force resisting bending. And I do it by setting the Young's modulus equal to zero. So let's go to the movies again. Okay, this is the page of the distances and times. You've seen that before. Here's the graph, which is going to be plotted the string amplitude versus position along the string in the top graph. And then in the bottom graph, I'm going to plot the force exchange between the bridge and the string versus time. All right. Well, let's see if we can get this started. Okay, there it starts. I got... We got two two strings here. The blue is the stiff, and the red is the flexible. Right now, the red has overwritten this blue because at 1.3 milliseconds into the simulation, they aren't any different. The effect of the elasticity doesn't show up yet. Okay, let's let it go, and there goes the pulse starting to go across the screen, and you can see a little bit of the blue, but not much, because they're both the same. Elasticity ta takes a while to show its effect. But now we're going to pull up on the bridge, and you see right away there is an effect. Okay, I'll let it get past that little legend there. Okay, you can see that uh, the flexible string, the red one, shows more force. And you can also see over here, there's a little bit more, a little blue there leading the way. And why does the flexible string show more force? Well, because the resistance to bending force has been removed. So it's going to pull up more on that bridge than the stiff one. All right, let's continue. I'm just going to let, I'm not going to make any more comments because I'm just going to let it run through its 30 milliseconds like I did yesterday. Well, I will make a few comments. That you can see at the top string, the top graph, the blue and the red are a little bit different. The uh, force, of course, is back to the same because the force exchange between the bridge and the string is, is zero because the slope over at the bridge is zero. Now you can start to see the blue show up there in the string. Now we're going to start to pull up on the bridge again. Now you probably notice there's a, that leading edge of the uh, stiff bridge force has a little dip in it before it goes up, whereas it does not have that dip in the flexible because there's no elasticity, there's no dispersion, and there's not going to be any inharmonicity. Okay, so the, the once this finishes, we'll talk, yeah, okay, so we have 30 milliseconds again. The blue trace is this trace I showed you yesterday, and it had a little bit of a hiccup right there. The red trace is the flexible, and it is identical with the pre, of the two tra traces of the are the same with one minor difference, and that is there's some attenuation because of friction. All right, now here is a longer view of the bridge force. And the red is the flexible, which we've added. You can see the peaks are higher on the red, but you can also see that the blue develops more and more ripple as time goes on, whereas the red <coughs> is not. 
let's uh, there we go. You can see press better. Here's the uh, the red. This doesn't show any ripple at all. The blue does, and, the, and that ripple is going to be more and more pronounced as time goes on. Okay, over here's the uh, spectrum, and I'm just going to go ahead and show the next one. Yeah. Okay, here's the spectrum power versus frequency over 2,000 hertz. And the red is the flexible. And you see pretty much the red stays at the harmonics. Whereas the blue gets sharp relative to the harmonics. And that's the inharmonicity showing up because of the elasticity. Whereas the, the red is staying pretty close to the, to the harmonics, which are these vertical red lines. Okay, let's just listen to the two strength, the two uh, bridge forces. Again, no, no soundboard involved, so this is not going to be sounding too much like a piano note. But here, here's the first one, which is the uh, stiff string that has el elasticity. You see it died away with the, because of the friction. This is going to be the flexible string. And you see there really isn't much difference. So anyway, that, that's my response to Ed McMorrow's question. Thanks for listening and watching.